After the attack here on NAS Pensacola, December 6, 2019, that left three sailors dead and eight others injured, public access immediately closed. And during that time, the number of annual visitors that this base didn't see was by the hundreds of thousands. Now with this reopening, Navy officials say safety measures are as enhanced as ever. Every sailor and officer on board here has had a role in this. And I'll say this and mean it. Team NAS Pensacola is excited to welcome everybody back. On Wednesday, May 17th, the gates of NAS Pensacola will open to the public for daily access for the first time in exactly 1,259 days. The news comes following the U.S. Navy Undersecretary's approval of Captain Terrence Shishati's request to reopen the base. There wasn't any one thing that uh, got us over the hump. It's just constant uh, contact and communication and coordination with all of our partners, both locally and uh, all the way up through uh, the Navy. New additions to the reopening include enhanced safety measures that Captain Shishati says his staff has worked tirelessly to ensure the safety of visitors. Over the last year, I've had to prove that case to uh, my leadership and the leadership of the Navy. Before the December 6, 2019 attack, visitors were granted access through both gates. Now the public will only be given access through the West Gate. In addition, foreign nationals visiting the base must be escorted by a U.S. citizen who passes a background check. Security is an all-hands effort to include the visitors that come on this base. You know, we're going to live by the see something, say something motto. Uh, don't hesitate to call something out if it's, if, if, it, if it's an issue, and then we'll address it. Uh, but if, um, you know, if there's an issue on base, I have full confidence in my team that they'll be able to handle anything that comes our way. Inside the National Naval Aviation Museum, Rear Admiral Kyle Kozad and Captain Sterling Gillum say the anticipation is building as visitors are the lifeblood of the museum. You know, it cost us about five million dollars over the last few years since the base was closed for, you know, uh, regular access. Even though we were technically closed to the general public, we still put 240,000 people through the museum last year. That's the good news. The bad news is in 2019, we put three quarters of a million people through. So we're very, very excited about getting back to being a forceful part of this great community. This was a purpose-driven decision and a purpose-driven mission, so uh, there's nobody happier than, you know, the four of us, but I can say that I'm probably the tallest at the table, so I, I, I think I get an extra credit happy point. Now, public access includes Fort Barrancas and the Pensacola Lighthouse, and it all depends on parking availability, so expect to get here early, starting two Wednesdays from tonight. Reporting live outside of NAS Pensacola, I'm Tanner Stewart, WEAR News.